Good morning guys and welcome back. So this weekend we're heading out on an awesome adventure. It's a long weekend for us. We've got the Friday and Monday off. Uh, today we're going to be heading up to Tiwa Beach, which is also known as Noose North Shore or Double Island. We've got an Airbnb. We weren't quite keen to start camping just yet as our son's uh, just turned six months. So we're a bit um, iffy on how he's going to handle it. It's a bit too hot at the moment to be in a tent, so we might leave it for a winter um, getaway. But this weekend we've got an Airbnb, we're um, going with some friends of ours. We've got a friend here from London, we've got the dog, we've got me and my wife um, and the baby and we're all jumping the JKU um, and heading up to Noose North Shore. So Noose is probably 40 minute drive from here, then you've got to take the barge over um, and it's four wheel drive accessible only um, and go on the beach, drive up the beach um, and you can get to the Airbnb. It's really seclusive up there, you can camp, um, you can take trailers, whatever you want to do. But just for the time being, um, with the new baby and the new Jeep, we're just going to help rent an Airbnb. It's actually really cheap. Um, I might do a price rundown of everything, what the whole weekend cost us at the end of the video. Um, but it'd be a good indication to see how the baby uh, finds his four, finds his first four-wheel driving adventure. If he loves it, we can do lots more. Um, and a good indication as well of the new Jeep. Um, just to see how we're going for space, different upgrades we need to make, um, and stuff like that. We do have more people, we've got our friend from London and it's her first time actually driving up on a beach, uh, four wheel driving and hopefully the weather holds up. Um, it's been good this whole week, it's been really hot. But as I said, it's only a short drive up to Nuja, so I'll just see you guys on the beach. What's up guys? So we just arrived at the Airbnb. Now it's, as I said before, it's on a short uh, bar trip. It's like $7 and probably 15 minute drive from home. Um, we stopped off and got lunch and stuff like that, had a bit of a break. Um, it's actually like a 10 minute drive from getting onto um, Noosa North Shore or Tiwa, whatever one you want to call it. It's like a 10 minute drive to the Airbnb. And it's down like this little access road, the Jeep and the brother-in-law's Hollux. So it comes down this like little access road here. Um, you got heaps of different Airbnbs I'm not sure about the pricing for all of them, I'll get a price a bit later on of the ones we've got. But it's a pretty cool little spot. So this one takes you all the way down to the beach access, there's only one way in and one way out. Uh, which is all good. Um, it's, they're just like proper houses, but like, it's only accessible by four wheel drive um, and coming up the beach. It's the only way to get here. So we're just walking down to like the entrance now, um, let's have a look. So everybody's got like proper little gardens, it's like a proper little um, like community in here. Like They've all got like street names, if you guys can see it back there. But everybody like decorates their properties, um, you can rent most of these out on Airbnb, but people actually live up here. So this is the access road um, in and out. As I said it's only accessible by four wheel drive, which makes it quite remote um, and cut off from the rest of the world, which is pretty awesome. Uh, makes it like quite well seclu uh, secluded. Um, with a good weekend away if you want that. Um, we've got a bit of overcast days but it's not too bad. Um, a few four-wheel drives have passed me coming up here. But you're like not right on the beach, a little bit back uh, from the top balcony, I'll show you guys later. You can just see the beach um, coming down. I was just talking to the bloke then um, about the ambulances and what's going on. Apparently some guy was at a building site here and had um, fallen off and hit his neck so they've stabilised it. It's good that the um, ambulance, uh, there's a helipad just up here but the ambulances are like, they can even drive down the beach, um, all four wheel drive, four wheel drive ambulance because um, it's really remote. Um, it's good that it's fully accessible. Um, hopefully the guy's alright but there's also a helipad uh, just down there so if the guy needs to be flown in it's like a 10 minute helicopter ride. But nice little entrance, not too hard, it's not massive for driving. A few little ruts and stuff like that. Um, but as I said earlier at the start of the video, um, the sand 
it's quite hard because we've had a lot of rain. It's probably going to start raining now. Um, but I'll head back to the Airbnb, show you guys around. Um, and we can go on a few adventures later on. Alright guys, unfortunately it wasn't exactly the weekend that we had planned. Um, the rain set in um, and we couldn't do as many adventures as we wanted. Uh, the place that I wanted to go was up to Dubbo Island. Now it's about a, another 40 minute drive straight up the beach. Um, so it's four wheel driving pretty much the entire way. Uh, but with the rain and everything like that, uh, we, we decided not to venture that far. Uh, the place we're staying was still walking distance to the beach. Um, but um, it is what it is. Um, you take the good with the bad, but it was still a nice weekend away. Um, it was still nice to get away, um, away from the hustle and bustle and away just from home. Um, and to relax and stuff like that. We had no cell reception up there or very minimal. Uh, there's a few spots you, c you could get reception. So it was nice to disconnect from your phone and stuff like that. Um, unfortunately I couldn't film like as much uh, content as I wanted to. Um, and for some reason my GoPro's, my GoPro wasn't working properly. Uh, so I lost a little bit of footage uh, coming home. We did like a little ticket tour around like all the housing um, and because those tracks are used so much um, it's more of like a four wheel drive um, uh, track because it's a bit more worn out. Um, the beach um, at high tide is like pretty hard four wheel driving. Um, you need to be a good driver and need to be wary of what you're doing. Um, low tide you can just kind of chuck in two wheel drive and um, head, head down the hard sand. But um, up around the housing and stuff, um, all the ruts and stuff like that were quite hard. Um, and unfortunately I lost um, a lot of footage from my GoPro, so it is what it is. Um, but we are booking another weekend back up there very soon, which is going to be awesome uh, for like Easter. We've got a long weekend for Easter, and hopefully we won't get back up there my, for my birthday. And then for Go Topless Day, uh, we've got Lightbright Nation who's joining us from the States. Um, they're going to be doing Great Topless Day this year with us. I'll probably be just doing the beach run because I love the beach run. It's um, I've been doing the beach run for like the last three years. Um, the other guys will be doing um, the Kenilworth tracks and stuff like that uh, on the Friday, Saturday and the Monday I think. Um, but it was just a nice way to get away. I hope you guys like this video. Um, if you want me to do more content um, like um, sort of overlanding stuff, um, hopefully when my son gets older we can do more camping style stuff. Um, but Living on the Sunshine Coast um, and like these surrounding areas, we've got some pretty cool Airbnbs that are kind of off-grid um, and pretty only accessible by four-wheel drive. Uh, so I wouldn't mind saying of those. If you guys want to see more of this sort of content, please leave a comment below. Also like the video as well. It helps out the channel um, and just tells YouTube that you like the video um, and you want us to grow um, and share the content with other people as well. And as always, smash that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next video.